1967 Formula One Mod 4, a set of course in this case. <coughs> this is a Cooper Maserati driven by Joe Bonnier, which is a Swe was a Swedish pilot uh, racing for a Swiss team. So I think that's the most uh, multi ethnic uh, choice I could make. Cumbersome old engine, 10, year old, uh, 10 years old engine reworked uh, to adapt to, to uh, 1967 rules. Now, this uh, is uh, in a certain way a uh, a small revival for me because the first time uh, I entered uh, um, sim racing uh, with uh, on tarmac because uh, I was uh, uh, invited to join autocross uh, <laughs> simulator it was on R factor and it was uh, right uh, with this car right on Kailani track in South Africa 1967 like this one by the way this um, this mode of the track is not bad at all in my opinion maybe the scenery, the crew, etc. could have been slightly better, but uh, the tarmac feels uh, plausible, feels uh, quite realistic, uh, and it's interesting because uh, this uh, track uh, has been changed uh, along years, it uh, doesn't exist anymore with this uh, path. Yeah, there's an X-Wing X fighter in front of me, <laughs> because with the four exhaust uh, in that uh, disposition, it really looks like uh, the Star Wars uh, fighter. Yeah, you see the, the glowing uh, <laughs> engines, uh, no, they are just exhausts. It's the BRM driven by uh, Mike Spencer, while now I'm already fighting with another Cooper Maserati light blue because it belonged uh, to a French team uh, uh, driven by Guy Liget. Uh, short uh, replay here from, from the outside uh, with uh, the, my car uh, going sideways. That's a uh, peculiar of these cars uh, because uh, you have no downforce uh, and skinny tires uh, with uh, uh, let me say average grip because uh, it uh, was not uh, as poor as uh, 10 years before but still uh, far from being uh, so grippy as the slick tires uh, uh, that uh, was were used uh, from the sand is uh, on now i want to focus on the race because it turned out to be very very nice very interesting <coughs> as uh, very often happens uh, uh, when the cars have no downforce and low grip uh, you are always packed up uh, and uh, uh, you can uh, even make uh, wrong not ideal racing lines because uh, uh, with a proper driving ability you can compensate uh, and the fights become much more uh, interesting and beautiful to see you see uh, how long I stayed uh, side by side uh, with uh, Sir Jackie Stewart on the, the other BRM uh, they become so interesting compared to much modern way, uh, ways of racing. Okay, I've uh, just uh, left uh, the big pack of uh, cars uh, behind me. Uh, I think there are 17 cars, no, 15 cars uh, starting from here. And you can notice also how they are very close uh, to each other. Even though in this mode uh, you can uh, actually feel the differences between the cars. I know this mode is nothing new, it comes uh, from a conversion from Grand Prix Legend. <coughs> but uh, well, I want to just uh, repeat things that <laughs> many sim racers uh, may know when they stumbled into reviews of this mode. Because uh, th the feeling uh, is absolutely great. Yeah, uh, driving style is much different uh, from uh, modern uh, racing cars, uh, race cars, uh, but uh, once you get the grip of it, you can manage slides like this, uh, it's uh, absolutely satisfying, very, very enjoyable. And uh, the, the fight uh, is always on uh, uh, with, uh, with this particular kind of driving that I mentioned before. Okay, now after leaving uh, uh, some uh, opponents uh, behind, uh, I see I have just a couple seconds uh, over them, uh, I'm struggling with the Brabham's. <coughs> Looks like uh, Brabham cars uh, here are um, particularly fit uh, for this track uh, because you see what gap they gave. I've got Danny Helm uh, in front of me who made a uh, little bit mistake uh, not to bump into his uh, teammate and also team manager uh, Jack Brabham now I'm struggling with him but I conquered uh, P2 with this maneuver because I, I 
I got a good exit uh, out of the, the corner. So. With the setup uh, I choose, uh, I managed to uh, tweak uh, for my car. <coughs> and this uh, is pretty important, you know. Even uh, teachers uh, in the environment of uh, pilots uh, always tell you that uh, the, the late braking is not uh, as important uh, as uh, the early acceleration out of uh, uh, the corners uh, and keeping up, uh, keeping up as much speed as possible. In this case, uh, in fact, uh, uh, being able to get very fast up to the corners uh, helped me to stay in the slipstream of uh, uh, Jack Brabham. His car was uh, quite a little underpowered, but uh, in this case it's the proper management uh, of uh, the slipstream that makes the difference. Yeah, because uh, I got uh, some more speed right uh, for the second half uh, of the straight, but he's braking so late, so yeah, true. Uh, maybe I was, I could have been faster, but uh, in a fight, uh, the late braking turns out to be very useful. So I'm back again, but uh, I can try to cross the racing lines in order to attack from the inside. And uh, damn it, it was uh, a small contact, and Jack Brabham was out. No, I left him uh, enough room. I'm sure you can see it. Uh, on, on my left, even this replay shows it, I just waved uh, a little to the left before entering the turn to widen as much as possible the racing line. Honestly, I don't know if uh, this uh, had to be considered wrong. Uh, the, the Nets may have uh, stopped him way before in real life, but uh, no. fortunately they are uh, ghosts <laughs> in this mode. Okay, this is uh, Watch the Game from uh, Danny Holm. And talking about uh, the AIs, uh, uh, how they are programmed to race, uh, again you see how they can manage to break late, but uh, here you see the difference. If they can't overtake or keep me behind, uh, I immediately put a big gap uh, between uh, <coughs> me and them. So this is quite uh, um, old school uh, racing, uh, but uh, I know that it's uh, pretty useful as uh, training uh, to be good uh, pilots uh, even with uh, modern cars. However, this is uh, absolutely satisfactory because uh, you are always uh, on the verge of uh, slides, uh, uh, but things don't happen as uh, so quick uh, uh, to make uh, driving uh, hard and possible, etc. So these are cars uh, you keep on driving and not just aiming and shooting ins inside turns, etc. You may have noticed that uh, parts that should be holes uh, here are just uh, black surfaces. Uh, that's because uh, the origin of um, the, mm, the mode. Yeah, I was first here. <laughs> yes, a <laughs> victory for me. But uh, all in all, uh, I think that uh, the, the pleasure of driving and uh, the fact that all the cinematics of the the suspensions uh, are nice to see, uh, make the difference uh, and make it uh, very good to race. Okay, maybe someone is interested in the results. Uh, uh, well, I was not the fastest in all uh, the, the portions of the, um, the track, but um, well, this is enjoyable. I hope you enjoy too. Bye!